He's here. Hey, he's here. He's, hey, he's here. Come on. Yes! Oh, cute. I didn't think about this through. Okay. Hey, can you pick me up? Oh. Hello everyone, Lawrence over here from RVT. It's kind of windy out here, but um, this video um, we gotta be actually installing this new Starling. Finally got here. I waited about six months for it, maybe longer than that. I can't remember. It's been since last year. But uh, we're right now we're on the uh, next link. Which, you know, they've been pretty good, but, you know, it's just, we only get like 50 megabits per second, and that's the maximum that we can get over here. And uh, cell phone service sucks, too, so, um, we were using the MoFi, too, and that one was even lower than Next Link. So, now that we have Star Starlink, uh, that we've been waiting for since before we moved over here, uh, that's when I order it and uh so i'm not gonna do the unboxing since there's a lot of videos out there doing the unboxing part uh, but i am gonna be doing the installation of it and and i'm not talking about just like unboxing it and then setting it up setting it up on the floor or anything like that i'm gonna do the full installation on it uh i'll also order a, a kit for the uh, mounting i'm gonna do it uh, right on the corner right there but I'm gonna do it uh, not on the corner but on the peak right there on top of the roof on the uh, side and uh, but uh, I'll show you all of that but it's gonna be actually on the opposite side of the house on the other corner on, on the other end of the house but uh, alright I'm gonna go ahead and get started and start with the uh, closet where I currently have all my uh, internet stuff so let's go in there oh yeah I forgot to mention if you see all these little specks on here that was actually bugs when I picked up my package from this from the I guess they were getting it was getting infested with this little bugs it, they look like ladybugs but they're all over the place uh, actually they were actually inside the box let me flip it over here they're actually all in here. Uh, they look like miniature ladybugs or Asian bugs or whatever they call it. But they were like, there was a lot of them in there. They're still in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it and I spray some of the. I don't have uh, any bug spray, but this is the only thing I have and it looks like it's working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bust it open and try to get them with that but I thought I'd share that because you might have noticed that but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it all right so this is where my uh, setup is right now it's like wires everywhere because I haven't uh, messed with it since they installed uh, next link on here and uh, and I'm using my uh, router here for next link all right, so to feed the cable up there, I might use my uh, Mimo antenna uh, cable. I, I had to make a hole like really big for it, so that's gonna fit uh, perfectly through here. And I'm gonna pull it back from the attic since it's already here, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna pull it out since I'm not using my uh, um, MoFi for internet. For Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull pull this one back up and fit it through here. You know, you do have to do it from the inside out because if you do it from the outside in, 
this other end right here here let me show you this other end right here that connects to the uh, to the starting modem is gonna it does is not gonna fit from the outside going in here uh, it might fit, but you're going to have to make a, a really big hole for this. So I don't want to do that. And uh, since I ordered the kit for the wall, this is uh, this is a, the best route for to actually to do it from the inside to the outside. Alright, so here I'm outside now trying to plan on how I'm going to install this uh, this satellite. At first, my plans were to, was to do it right there on the corner, but I don't have a ladder that's tall enough to reach out there and based on this when I was installing that it was kind of hard to screw it from the from the top so um, what I'm gonna do is actually put it right there I already checked the uh, obstructions and I didn't see any so on the app and uh, I'll be using this little you know, kit right here that they uh, that I ordered it comes with everything pretty much and then you can fish the wire with this through there and I already ran the wire in the attic so all I had to do is just make the hole and uh, push the wire out from the uh, inside and then uh, uh, set it up with these things so with this little kit even comes with this a silicon so it's pretty cool anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I guess make the hole from the I was thinking maybe from the uh, inside out and see where uh, since I don't wanna get any surprise I don't know I'll probably do it from the inside yeah no from the uh, inside out over here and then put it on there where whatever it comes out. That way I don't have I don't run over studs or something. So if I do it from the outside in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you after. Alright, so mom over here in the attic and it's freaking hot. I already did the hole right there. I don't know if you can see the lay daylight coming out right there. And now I'm going back all the way on the other side. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit here because it's so freaking hot. <laughs> this right here is my grounding station. This is where I put all my uh, antennas and stuff. And uh, I ground everything from here. And this is grounded over to the box, to the uh, panel. Um, kind of like labeled everything here. But, uh, and this is my distribution for the antenna too in the attic now over there over here is where everything comes in this is where the closet is and that's my little jumping uh, junction box for my electrical so all right I'm gonna exit here way too hot I'm sweating like really bad so uh. all right so back to plan plan a I was able to obtain a ladder from my uh, brother and uh, it reaches all the way up there and here's the uh, mount, it's a small box but it comes with the cover for the dish, the mount itself, some more silicon That's part of the mount too. The uh, two uh, bolts that go into the right there. Some uh, instructions, and then this box right here comes with more of those. Um, fasteners for the cable and if I would have known that this comes with all this I, I would have not ordered the uh, the kit for the 
for the wall. All I needed to do was maybe go to Home Depot and get that. Get this right here. This little thing right here. And that you could save money like that. But I already have it, so. And uh, the drill bits, you know, I, I do have them. But, you know, I didn't know what, what was in there. And, and on the website, it doesn't tell you exactly that it can include those fasteners, so. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of like have the uh, cable hanging from up there. So I'm going to run the cable. Since I've already made the hole there, I'm just going to run it over to that top. And then I already have it set up over there. I put a 2 by, I think it was like a 2 by 10 And then I cut it to the same uh, angle as the roof. And now I'm gonna mount this kit up there on the corner, on the right on top of that. So since I cannot do it, uh, well, I I don't know. I don't have a stand or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, and then show you after it's mounted up there. You you do have to level it and all that stuff. So all right. All right. So this is all installed now. So the next step is to bring the wire from. Uh, come over there run it on the top and then uh, make a little loop for the kind of like what I did over here with these wires and uh, so that water can drip down and maybe leave some extra there but all right I'm gonna go ahead and get up there on the roof and uh, have some uh, sandbags over here holding that cable so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cable and and uh, run it through here, and I'll get back with you. All right, so I just fed the cable through there. So I'm gonna climb down and get the uh, satellite and mount it on the on the pole. I already checked for obstructions and there's none, so it's a good location. Also, these holes right here, I'm gonna cover them with uh, caulking and then uh, and paint over that. So. It looks nice up there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mount the satellite. Alright, so. Mounted the satellite over there. And I forgot to actually unplug it. So. <laughs> it's actually setting up right now by itself. But. Uh, after you uh, make sure to plug it in before you actually mount it on there. Don't do it like I did. I was trying to mount it and then trying to plug it in. I just forgot to plug it in. But anyways, uh, this is next. This is just a little cover, so we'll cover that ugly hole right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. It just snaps in there. So now I'm gonna do something like this. And then the little, that's gonna be the drip, drip edge. And then I'm gonna put another fastener right here. So one right here, one right here. And then I'm gonna keep running, run it down and go backwards. <clears throat> and then whatever wires left over, I can just put it back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you after. All right, so there's my uh, my little setup. Got that little drip edge right there. I mean, drip loop. And then I did another one up there so the water can drip down. And uh, it's all set up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep going inside with the setup. All right, so now we're back inside. I uh, plugged the uh, modem and I also installed one of those uh, switch up there uh, there's I install that switch up there so I can flip it on and off three times if I had to reset it and that's a lot easier than unplugging this modem either from there or from here three times and uh, and it's easier to just do it with a switch but I'm a uh, 
the only lights that's on here is right there on the bottom it's right between the power and the uh, satellite connection and that's the only light that lights up in here and none of these lights up and that's supposed to be Mars and that's supposed to be Sun and that's supposed to be Earth up there so that's pretty cool on that but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go to the app and show you the uh, the stuff all right this is the switches uh, it's a pack of three so we really recommend that um, now here we are on my phone I might go ahead and look for the Wi-Fi and then you look for the one that says Starlink you try you click on connect and then now you have to sign into it so then you open up your app you select the Wi-Fi name so I'm gonna go ahead and name mine I'm gonna put in my password Okay, now that I enter my password. You just wait, I guess. This case is doing a resetting, so I'll uh, be right back once it comes back to uh, online. There it is, it's online now. So this is gonna take 12 hours. For it to actually do the uh you know the i guess it scans the sky i don't have no idea but it takes 12 hours according to the, st the statistics over here um not the statistics but the uh let me see where's it at yeah it just got disconnected or it's offline but it's still connected so See, it's right here. It says Starlink uh, still connecting to um, data on obstructions. This usually takes about 12 hours, so that's that's when this is gonna show up after 12 hours, which I know is there's no obstructions out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a quick test, speed test. That was the old one. Maybe because uh, it's still setting. I don't have no idea. I, I haven't given it en enough time yet. Let me see. Hit hope. My heat. Are you okay? Uh, still showing that and I know that uh, at first it got show like not too fast over speed and then after that it goes back to uh, 100 and something or 100 megabits per second all right so that's gonna be it for this video um, just uh, if you don't mind hitting the uh, hit the like and the subscribe button for me and I really appreciate it I've been trying to get it to 1,000 uh, subscribers but uh, it's been a long long journey for me <laughs> uh, there's no charge so I don't know what the, you know there's, I'm just throwing that at that out there <laughs> but if you hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it uh, later on you know I'm gonna be uh, doing uh, an update maybe 
and uh, compare what I used to have and um, what I have now with Starlink. And uh, just that's it. Well, thank you for watching.